Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. For this video, this is going to be a toy video highlighting some of the new items that we've we've gotten in stock in the last week or two or items that we've restocked that we had sold out previously and are preparing for what we hope is going to be a, Chris, a big Christmas uh, rush or Christmas shopping season for collectibles. So first off, we have, this is a new release. This is the uh, six inch G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes with and Timber. Um, you can switch the wolf's head off and make him angry. Uh, Snake Eyes, as you can see, comes with an assortment of rifles or weapons, knives, and I'm guessing that's some type of uh, flash bang grenade or something like that smoke grenade but uh, we just got this in this week all these items are going to either be up on our ebay page and that's the the seller name that you would want to look for um, or they'll be on our website most likely for right now they'll be on ebay this is not up yet i do have the photos i just haven't created the listing and uploaded it yet so that's that. Next up are some new Star Wars 6-inch Black Series figures. We received a case this past week from Entertainment Earth. Um, the case breakdown is you get two Tech, two General Lando Cal Calrissians, um, one Cosca Reeves, one Aura Singh, and one Q9-0 or 0 as he's better known in the Mandalorian. This is the Casca Reeves action figure. She is uh, one of Bo-Katan's clan mates from the Mandalorian show. Next up is Aura Singh. This is, she is from the Clone Wars animated series and she was also in Phantom Menace for a split second in the pod racing scene. She's a bounty hunter. And like I said, there's one of her per case. And next up is Zero or Q9 Zero. He was a droid in the first series of The Mandalorian that <clears throat> was part of the crew to break out the uh, Twilight. I can't remember his name. His sister was part of the crew too. But uh, Mando had to shoot him because he was threatening to do harm to Grogu. And I think later on in Season 2, yes, uh, the Frog Lady used his head to communicate with the Mandalorian. So he's pretty much in one, one episode and they made a figure for him. Next up is Tech from the Bad Batch. This is the last of the... Well, I guess if they make a figure for Omega, she'd be the last. But she he's one he's the last of the regular Bad Batch clones. And like I said, there were two of him in the case. So if you're if you are out there looking for tech to complete your series, we will we will have him for sale. If you cannot find him in stores, he is available in stores right now, but you guys know it's collectibles once they hit the shelves you got to get them or they'll disappear this is a gamestop exclusive this is i think this one's been around for a while but they had uh some type of deal so i you, you order a certain amount you get free shipping and then i think there was a discount on this as well this is from jedi fallen order video game gaming greats this is a flame trooper figure it's pretty nice Really looks like a snow trooper with a little bit difference in the uh, the mask and helmet up there, and of course it comes with a flamethrower. This is another GameStop, I believe, exclusive. This is a Mortal Kombat figure from by McFarland Toys. This is the bloody variant, so there's blood on the weapon, blood on his outfit in various places. Uh, Noob Sabat action figure next up is this uh, arc trooper echo 
from the Vintage Collection. This has been out for, I think it's it released about a month or so ago, but they've been hard to come by and hard to find. So we ordered, we got a case from Entertainment Earth. And we got a few of those. Here's the back of the card. There's uh, Maul, Ahsoka also come in that assortment. This is a really nice looking clone trooper figure. Next up, this was a restock because the Book of Boba Fett is coming out next month, or actually in less than a month, on Disney Plus. And I anticipate a lot of Boba Fett toy sales for Christmas. So it's always good to have action figures in stock. We have this one along with a few other vintage collection on different cards. But this one, I think we ordered a case of eight. So we restocked on this. This is another gaming exclusive. I think, I think it's a GameStop exclusive. It's a Scout Trooper from Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, this is another one, Gaming Greats. I believe also a, a GameStop exclusive or a shared exclusive. Anyways, I think we got ours from Entertainment Earth, so I think it is a shared exclusive. It's the Electro Staff Purge Trooper. Oh, next up, this is another favorite. It's been out for a while, but it's a restock. Clone Trooper Captain Rex from the Clone Wars series. This is another GameStop and shared exclusive Shadow Stormtrooper from the Force Unleashed video game. Very nice looking figure. Another restock. Clone, War, uh, Clone Troopers are, are popular. A lot of people like to build armies and display them. So another restock, just a full case of eight uh, Clone Commander Wolves. And I forgot this This was a Black Series. Even though the box says it's Karner Jax, it was billed as Kurkanos. This is a 6-inch Black Series figure of a Royal Guard who leaves. I believe it's been a while since I've read that book. Leaves the Empire. I think becomes a bounty hunter or mercenary. But it's also it's a real nice... Yeah, Crimson Empire was the mini series that he appeared in and lastly but not least this one's big this is another thing that's been out for a while but we ordered a lot of these in hopes of well since they've changed the name of the ship this is truly going to be a collector's item because it's no longer called boba fett slave one so anything you can find Package wise, that still refers to this ship as Slave One is going to be highly collectible in the years to come. So, we ordered several of these from Entertainment Earth and GameStop because they've uh, renamed the ship Boba Fett Starship. So, I'm pretty sure in the, the new series, the book of Boba Fett, they're not going to call it Slave One anymore. So, if you find these out in the wild, buy them and hold on to them for all but i will tell you they are not cheap uh, i think retail on these is 130 or 150 i can't remember but they will be good to sit on and wait and invest uh, short long term i don't know a couple years it should double triple in price um for the star wars collectors out there that missed the boat on this and that's it for this video um, I thank you for watching. Please, if you don't mind hitting that like button, the thumbs up button on for the video, drop a comment. Let me know if you, what you liked, what toys, if you're a collector, a Star Wars collector, or an action figure collector in general, what, what are you looking for? Uh, maybe we have them. Drop us a, a message and I'll get back to you. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, appreciate you doing so if you feel like it. Till next time, everyone, have a good night. Take care.